To create this design of a factory floor mock-up, it would take quite a bit of time and effort if I had to model this up or design this individually for every single piece. However, if I notice that this entire model is quite symmetrical and looks like it's just a copy or a rotation of, for example, all four of these staircases look very, very similar to me. So what I could do to save on quite a bit of design time is just create this once and use some of my rotation and copy tools to create four rotational copies or a pattern of this staircase. So let's jump to a starting point such as this. And essentially, what I would like to do is make a copy of, say, this staircase body here and rotate it about some line or axis and make however many copies I would like. And most likely in this case, I would like to rotate about this center axis right here. So what I can do is jump into my transform tools and just below my translate tool, I have rotate around axis. So once within my rotate around axis, first it's going to ask me to select any shapes or groups or bodies that I'd like to rotate. So in this case, it would be the staircase body here. Once I have this body selected, I can tap next. And now it's going to ask me what I'd like to rotate about. So it's asking to select a line or any linear edge or any axis that I can use as my rotation axis. So here I have a number of options. I can actually just grab any existing edge. So say, for example, I can grab this edge here. And you can see that this edge has been selected now to be my axis of rotation. And if I'm happy with that, I can tap next. And finally, throw in an angle that I'd like to rotate. So let's throw in maybe 45 degrees. And we can see how that is rotating about my axis of revolution. Or I can try negative 45 degrees and see that it's rotated in the opposite direction, again, about that axis of revolution that I chose to be that linear edge in this case. Maybe let's try 90. Okay. In this case, of course, this is not the exact axis of rotation that we would like, so I'm just going to cancel out of this. And let's just try that once more, again, back into the rotate around axis grab my body or my staircase, tap next, and see I can also rotate about any existing line. So most likely we want to use that vertical line in the center there, and we'll see that in a second, but I can grab any existing line or edge. So even for example, if I wanted to use this line here, notice it's added a axis of rotation there. And again, I can tap next, and maybe rotate, let's say, five degrees. And notice now my staircase is revolving or rotating about that new axis, five degrees. Again, not exactly what I'm looking for in this case, so I'll just cancel out. Finally, one last time, rotate around axis. Grab the bodies I'd like, in this case, my staircase. Tap next. And Finally, the actual axis that would make most sense to rotate about in this case would be maybe this vertical line right here in the center of my floor. Let's tap next and try to throw in an angle of, let's say, 45 degrees. And of course, also notice I have the ability to make copies. So in this case, I don't want to just rotate this, but also make a copy. And I'm actually not looking for 45 degrees in this case. I would like maybe 90 degrees. 
And now we can see I've thrown in my second staircase. If I'm happy with that, I can just tap done. And just repeat these steps as many times as required. So I'll jump back into transform, back into rotate around axis. What's nice here, a quick time saver when using rotates and patterns, especially in larger patterns, I can actually rotate or pattern multiple things at the same time. So if in the end I'd like four sets of staircases, instead of having to do this four individual times, I can actually just now select my first staircase and my second staircase and make a copy of both of these at the same time. So again, tap next rotate about that same central axis there, tap next, and throw in whichever angle I'd like. In this case maybe 180 degrees, and again I want to make a copy of this. So you can see very quickly if I'm happy with this I can just tap done and now you can see very quickly I've recreated this staircase design just by using my rotate and my copy tools. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at using the mirror tool.